Designer wine and cider bottles are all the rage. They're becoming super, super popular. They are amazing to have at your event and they really spruce up a table. Designs can range from either super simple like the one you see here in this picture done with glitter or they can be super complex like this done by hand with single crystals and rhinestone trim. Also this one with pearls and hand painting. These can be however extraordinary or simplistic you want them to be. In this particular tutorial, I'm showing you how I'm creating a very simple design for my bachelorette party for a specific toasting picture and that's coming up right now. As usual, we want to start with our handy dandy supplies for decorating our bottle. Of course, you're going to need a bottle of some sort. Mine is apple cider because we really don't drink, um, but you can choose a wine bottle, any, any bottle of your choosing, obviously. And I've already gone ahead and spray painted this using this Rust-Oleum specialty metallic that I picked up at Walmart. It's about three bucks. They also have it at Hobby Lobby and Michaels. It's a teensy bit more expensive there, so if you can find it at Walmart, that is great. Really, you could use any metallic silver spray paint. It doesn't have to be this one. I just grabbed this one just because it was silver. I've got my bling wraps here. We're gonna do maybe a mix and match of these, maybe not, we will see. And I've got my rhinestone wrap. It comes in two strand. I got this actually at eBay. And it comes in, in single strands as well, and also three, four, and five connected strands like this. So, you know, if you want to decorate the whole bottle in this, you can certainly buy the roll and make it a lot easier. Then I have my little brooch that I'm going to put on there. Now, I'm not going as super fancy as I could because this is my bachelorette weekend. And for the wedding, I plan to decorate our bottle. And for that one, I'm really going to go out with a lot of the rhinestone trim and make it more fancy as some of those pictures that I showed you earlier. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Here's one tip before we do. If you're going to use this, I'm not sure if this is going to make its debut on this bottle. We'll see. But if you're going to use this, you do not want to attach rhinestone trim with hot glue, okay? You want to use E6000 or Gorilla Glue or some sort of permanent glue that's going to allow this to lay flat against your bottle. If you use hot glue, hot glue dries, but it dries in a little bit of a bulky strand. And so it's going to lift your chain away from the bottle and it won't be perfectly flat. So if you plan to use this, that's just a little bit of a tip and we're gonna go ahead and stop talking and get started. So I've gone ahead and I've cut out my mesh in this version to wrap around the bottle and this is just enough that I need to get all the way around there. And I cut some of this mesh so that when we start to build up, I, I'm gonna cut this into single strips. That way it'll be neater and it'll make it easier as we go up the neck. Trying to take a big piece like this and wrap it around can be disastrous and you want things to be really neat. And then I might show you how to cut this mesh and make a bow. I'm still deciding on what I wanna do. This pendant might be the center of that bow or it might not, we'll see. So bear with me on that. I'm still kind of formulating my ideas. Um, you can always keep this because this will pin through the mesh. So if I were to do a bow, just as a note, this will pin through. You just have to make sure that the, the back part, you know, uh, closes appropriately. Sometimes these don't have great closures, but it will pin through. So if you want to use the brooch again, you can. Now, even if I glue it, I can still use this again. So we'll see how this turns out. Let's get started. 
using my hot glue I'm just running a little bit of glue along that so that I can lay the first side of the edge of this particular bling wrap now what you want to do is turn it over and you want to just run that glue across and you want to pull the bling somewhat tight across it so that you don't have any gapping now be careful with the specialized bling because sometimes it does fold so you want to make sure that it lays flat now sometimes you do end up with a gap I don't like to cut this type of bling in half so instead I'm gonna take the bling wrap that I have and I'm gonna run that in there just to close that off and make it look nice and appropriate now I've gone ahead and cut some pre strips of our basic bling wrap which is a little bit smaller the typical one that we use for everything and I'm just gonna lay that glue and as you see just run it around until I get to as high up on the bottle as I want to go and there I'm just get working my way up and I'm actually gonna go all the way up toward the top so I'm gonna bling right over that foil it is perfectly okay to do so and I'm just gonna keep running that bling around it and cutting off the excess just until we get to the top all right so you just want to keep going as far as you want now I'm gonna place my brooch and here I'm just trying to see where I want to place it I've cut the back off of that brooch so there's no pin and now I'm just kind of playing with it and turning it to see how it's going to lay the most flat and to see where my edges of the brooch are touching the wine bottle as you see there or the cider bottle excuse me so then I'm gonna lay my hot glue specifically on those places where it is touching make sure that I lay enough and just hold it until it is dry okay my lovelies here is the final look isn't she pretty i really like the way she came out now keep in mind i was very reserved on this particular bottle because i've already done some for the reception which i will link this video back to to show you the gatsby style version that i did for the guests and i plan to make one specifically for us and the sweetheart table which on that one i'm gonna go all out with rhinestone trim and a ton of brooches to really make it super fancy now this was really really fun and i always tell you that these things that we do can really become more of a business and i am certainly going to look into trying to partner with some sort of a beverage company just to create some decorative bottles you know i see um, down in Dubai and other places how they love popping fancy bottles so don't underestimate the gift of your hands remember I tell you all the time the work of our hands are blessed and God promises to multiply everything that we do and I try in everything I do to give him the glory and help other people and I believe that we reap what we sow and that good karma comes back so never underestimate what you are capable of these make great gifts um, these make great uh, party enhancers, you know, when like I'm doing for the Bachelorette. You know, for me, this is all about the picture moment. We're recreating a very pretty picture that I saw on Pinterest. And so I really wanted to decorate the bottle to use with along with those glasses that I showed you that I made for them for our Vegas trip. So never underestimate the work of your hands. Try to partner with a beverage company. I remember doing uh, the Diamond Top for a bottle of water that I bought and they hit me up on Instagram saying how wonderful it was and how much they loved it and tagged me and everything so you never know who's watching so let the work of your hands do what they're supposed to do for you I love y'all you guys are so consistent and faithful you tune into my channel all the time and you're such an encouragement and a blessing and I just want to say thank you to you for that because you could be watching anybody but me and so I appreciate those of you who continue to tune in and share me and that don't keep me a secret and if you're new to the channel please subscribe please 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 and stay tuned stay up to date I'm definitely going to be doing a montage of how all of this stuff for the wedding has come together from walking it out to the actual big day so I hope that you'll stick it out with me to see all of these creations come together until next project remember as I always say you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you we'll be back next project love you mucho bye bye mm -hmm.